once again I am here with the paper of business uh, mathematics 2017 uh, ICOM uh, 1 F by is federal board of intermediate and secondary education and uh, here is the solution of this paper first question as usual is about the MCQs uh, so first uh, MCQ is the our college has 80 teachers of which 60 are commerce teachers and 20 are science teachers the ratio 3 4 represents uh, option number C is correct commerce teachers to total teachers uh, MCQ number 2 what percent rupees 84 is uh, of rupees 400 correct option is uh, 21 percent simply divide these two and multiply by 100 uh, the formula to calculate compound interest is option number 1 is correct P multiplied by 1 plus R or I raised to power N minus 1 uh, fourth MCQ the simple interest for 3 years at 6 percent is rupees 180 the principal is uh, first option is correct rupees 1000 formula for simple interest as you know that P multiplied by I multiplied by R or P uh, multiplied by sorry P multiplied by I or R multiply by N. When the term of an annuity is fixed, it is called annuity certain. Uh, if function of x equals to 5 plus 2x minus x square, then function of minus 3 correct option is B minus 10. And just simply put the value of x into the equation and solve it. The solution set of the equation Ax plus B equals to 0. Correct option is minus B over A uh, because when we take this B to the left it will become minus b and when we take this a on the other side of the equation it will be divided so correct option is minus b over a 4 3 is the solution set of option number c is correct x plus y equals to 7 x minus y equals to 1 the sum of the binary numbers 1 1 binary and 1 0 binary is correct option is 1 0 1 if a matrix is 2 1 6 3 then it is its multiplicative inverse uh, correct option is does not exist because determinant will become 0 and the matrix which has determinant equals to 0 cannot be calculated further. Uh, question number 2 a milkman mixes milk with water in the ratio of 7 to he has 81 liters of mixed milk what is the quantity of pure milk first of all we take the sum of the ratio 7 plus 2 equals to 9 then divide this total milk with the sum of the ratio and multiply 1 by 1 to the individual ratios. Uh, Asad's monthly salary is rupees 5800 per month and his boss promises him a 12 percent raise at the first of the next year what will be his monthly salary after the raise. Simple uh, you uh, first calculate the 12 percent of the total salary and then add up uh, to the previous salary. So correct option is 6496. Question number 3. A uh, house was sold for rupees 22 lakh 20,000 by agent who received a commission of 1 1 by 2 percent or 1 by 5 percent 1.5 percent. How much commission did he receive? So simply we calculate the percentage of 2 lakh 20,000 multiply by 0 0.015 and commission will be 3300. Uh, question number four at what annual rate of interest would rupees 780 amount to rupees 1320 in two years and three months 780 uh, um, trust 780 uh, 1320 is the future value because at what annual rate of interest would rupees 780 amount to rupees 1320 so 780 will be principal amount and 1320 will be future value in two years and three months so interest is missing here it is the case of uh, simple int uh, simple either you can, can take in the case of simple interest or compound because um, the type of interest is not mentioned in the question so one by one first of all we take as a case of simple interest so uh, formula for future value in simple interest equals to P multiply by 1 plus uh, I multiply by N. So after putting the values into the equation you can calculate interest uh, under simple interest case and that is approx 8 percent 
and in case of compound interest formula for future value equals to p multiplied by 1 plus i raised to power n future value is 1320 principal is 780 interest is missing and n is 9 because we are taking here as quarterly because 2 years and 3 years in 2 years there are 8 quarters and 1 quarter for this 3 months so n will be 9 and finally after solving it uh, the interest rate will be 6% solution is given here so you can sit and relax and uh, just learn to calculate the interest rate if it is missing simply here uh, raised to power 9 when it goes to the other side it will become in the form of power and fraction of 1 by 9 Uh, question number five is Mr. Munir has invested rupees twenty five thousand at six percent compounded annually. What amount would he receive after four years? Uh, Mr. Munir has invested rupees twenty five thousand and six at six percent compounded annually. So once again, it is the question of future value and compound interest. So we apply the formula of future value equals to p multiplied by one plus i raised to power n, where p is twenty five thousand. And six percent interest rate compounded annually, so interest rate will be zero point zero six, and four years n will be equals to four. So after calculation, future value will be three one five six two. Question number six: A company is expected to pay rupees four every year on a share of its stock. What is the present value of its stock if money is worth five percent compounded semi-annually? So through compound interest formula, we can solve it. Compound interest formula is p multiplied by one plus i raised to the power n minus p. And uh, here, uh, compound interest is four. P is missing. One plus interest rate is uh, because five percent is annually, and it is the case of semi annually. So uh, semi annual basis interest will become 2.5 percent. So interest fraction is 0.025, and uh, in one year there are two semi annual payments. So n will become 2 minus 1. And after calculation and solving this equation, p will be 79. Find the slope and y-intercept of the straight line 4x minus 3y minus 7 equals to 0. Equation of the slope-intercept form is y equals to m x plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. So 4 x minus 3 y minus 7 equals to zero, and minus 3 y is equals to minus 4 x plus 7, or we can say 3 y equals to 4 x minus 7. You can interchange the sign of whole equation. So 3y equals to 4x minus 7, and y will become 4x minus 7 divided by 3. So y, after dividing 4x by 3 and minus 7 by 3, it will become min 1.33x minus 2.33y is y-intercept form, and here. Uh, the digit which is associated with the x is called slope so slope is 1.33 find the market equilibrium point for the following demand and supply function equilibrium is the condition where demand is equals to supply so demand function is minus 3q plus 26 and supply function is 4q minus 9 and take this uh, into equality form And solve for Q, and Q will become five. So five is the quantity in the market uh, with this demand and supply function, where equilibrium exists. So at five units of output, there is an equilibrium in the market. Solve four x square minus six x minus five equals to zero by using quadratic formula. It is the fit form for quadratic formula. So a will become four, b will become minus six, and c will become minus five. So after putting the values into the quadratic formula, there are two values 
x equals to 2.09625 and x is equals to minus 0 0.59625. Convert 101101.01 binary into decimal number. So, uh, uh, when ever we convert the binary into decimal, we start from the extreme right. So, extreme right here. Uh, the digits those are appeared after the point we take the power of minus so there are two digits so we take the power from minus 2 1 multiply by 2 raised to power minus 2 plus 0 multiply by 2 raised to power minus 1 and after that we will start from taking the power from 0 to onward 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 so 1 multiply by 2 raised to power 0 in plus form plus 0 multiply by 2 raised to power 1 plus 1 multiply by 2 raised to power 2 plus 1 multiply by 2 raised to power 3 plus 0 multiply by 2 raised to power 4 plus 1 multiply by 2 raised to power 5 and after solving the answer will be 45.25 decimal Question number 11 is check the singularity of a matrix A. Uh, simply we take the determinant 3 multiply by minus 5 minus minus 3 multiply by minus 5. So, after solving it, uh, the determinant is minus 3, 0 or minus 30 is a non singular matrix. Now, we move to the section C. First question a man needs to borrow rupees 30,000 for 2 years. So, present value is 30,000. Show by calculation which of uh, one of the following loan is more advantages to him. Uh, two years represents n and first case 4.1 simple interest. So, simply uh, we apply the formula of simple interest after putting the value simple interest is 2460. In the second case 4 percent per annum completed compounded semi annually. Here we take the formula of compound interest and after putting the values uh, the compound interest is 2510.43. So, if a person uh, uh, borrows uh, from, uh, there are two perspectives. According to banking perspective, uh, compound interest will be beneficial for the banks. But here, uh, for a person who is borrowing money, uh, 2460 is advantages to him because we are seeing here uh, with the perspective of borrowing person. So, for borrowing person uh, simple interest uh, is advantages to him because uh, he needs to uh, give uh, less money in the case of simple interest. So, B you find the value of uh, 1010100011 uh, binary plus 1011111 binary minus 199 decimal. So, first of all uh, we need the answer uh, in binary. So, first of all we convert this decimal into binary and here it is given and uh, it is equals to 11000011 and after that first of all we add up these two values here solution is given and answer is given here and after that we subtract uh, this uh, binary of the decimal 199 will be subtracted from the answer of this and answer will be 11101111 binary. Question number 4 part A that solve the system of linear equations by Kramer rule x plus 3 y equals to 7 to x minus 5 y equals to 12. So, first of all we have to create matrix first matrix will be 1 3 2 minus 5 and x y and third is 7 12 and under Kramer rule x is equals to a x determinant divided by a determinant and y equals to a y determinant divided by a determinant. So, uh, we need here three types of determinant. First of all, we take the determinant of a 1 multiplied by minus 5 
minus 3 multiplied by 2 and it will become equals to minus 11. After that AX determinant just remove first column and place this 712 here and take the determinant is equals to minus 71 it is equals to AX determinant after that leave first column and remove second column and place the 712 here and take the determinant it will become a y determinant so after putting the values into these two formulas x equals to 6.4545 and y equals to 0 0.1818 b part is that if rupees 300 is deposited in the beginning of each quarter in an account which earns interest at the rate of 8% compounded quarterly what will be the amount after the end of 3.5 years so it is the case of annuity because there are multiple payments beginning of each quarter represents that it is the case of annuity because of multiple payments so if 300 is deposited so deposit amount is represented by R and interest rate is 8% compounded quarterly 8% annual so in under quarter form it will become 2% because there are four quarters in one year so interest rate will be 0 0.02 and in 3.5 years uh, there are uh, total 14 quarters so n will become 14 and we uh, are going to calculate future value and here is the formula for future value under NVT so answer will be 4 triple 8 mm -hmm. after that question number 5 is if uh, a is 1 minus 1 2 2 1 0 and B equals to 1 2 2 0 minus 1 and 1 then verify that A B transpose equals to B transpose multiplied by A transpose so first of all we need the multiplication of matrix A B first row multiplied by first column first row multiplied by second column which is given here and after that second row multiplied by first column and second row multiplied by second column these are given here and uh, so after solving a multiplied by b is minus 3 4 4 4 and transpose of a matrix is just change the order of the matrix so minus 3 4 is given in the row just change it into column 4 4 is given in the row just change into the column and that is the a b transpose now we need first the transpose of b and a and then we will multiply so B matrix is 1220 minus 10 and transpose of B is just changing the order first row uh, will uh, become a uh, first column will become the first row and second column will become the second row it will be equals to B transpose so A transpose in the same way we can take A transpose after changing the order and then uh, here we will multiply these two uh, the formula method of multiplication is same as we discussed before that first row multiplied by first column 1 multiplied by 1 plus 2 multiplied by minus 1 plus minus 1 multiplied by 2 and then first row multiplied by second column which is given here after that uh, in second row uh, second row multiplied by first column and second row multiplied by second column and after solving it it will be equals to minus 3 4 4 4 so hence it is proved that it is equals to uh, the a b transpose after that uh, now we move to the b part of this question and that is that a manufacturer offered 33 1 by 3 percent commission to an agent to sell his old stock the agent received rupees 15,000 as commission find the amount received by the manufacturer so simply commission percentage is 33.33 percent and amount of commission is 15,000 it means that this 15,000 is the 33.33 percent so we simply divide these two and multiply by 100 so manufacturer received 4500 4.500 so thank you once again and soon i will come with the next paper